morning boys and girls it's miss silvester and i'm extremely delighted to take you through this online session on the lesson the return but before we start i'd like to give you a few instructions that you should strictly follow as you know the success of any online session relies on the accountability of the learner so make sure you're quite serious with your lessons and complete your task or assignments on time throughout the entire process of online sessions secondly you should note before you start the lesson you have all the required resources handy like your writing materials your copy book and your textbook Another notable point is that make sure that you do all the assigned tasks or assignments which you are asked to do either throughout the whole session in in the midst of the session or at the towards the end when you are asked to pause the video kindly pause it do the task so that your productive skills are equally developed along with the receptive skills so ensure that you do all the task on time now we will start with the lesson the return this lesson is from unit 5 journeys for transformation now as you proceed you can see the objectives that we need to develop throughout through this lesson students today we are going to look at the craft and structure of the story the return as you know the authors they use a lot of techniques to make the story interesting short story authors draw on various literary devices to build suspense and add meaning to their narratives two essential devices in the return are foreshadowing and situational irony Foreshadowing is the use of clues carefully placed throughout a story that hint at later events. For example, in the return, the strange behavior of the woman at the river raises questions in the reader's minds about how Kamoi will be received at home. These clues help to pull readers through the story and make the sequence of events feel logical and unified. Now, students, for you to have a better understanding of what this literary technique for foreshadowing is i have attached a video so you can watch this video to have a better understanding and then we will continue with what is situational irony a young woman is preparing for her day she brushes her hair sprays on a little perfume opens her drawer to get her scarf closes her drawer and leaves her home wait a second did you notice something unexpected why is a gun in her drawer why is it presented in this way when it is not used at this moment You are given a clue about what will happen later. This is called foreshadowing. Foreshadowing happens when clues in a story hint at future events. What about this situation? Who is the man in the photograph? What might the photograph be foreshadowing? I hope you are clear with what foreshadowing is. So now let's look at what is situational irony. Situational irony also plays with readers' expectations. 
Situational irony occurs when events in a story directly challenge readers or characters' expectations. Authors use situational irony to interest and surprise readers and to emphasize and deepen meaning. Now, to give you a clear picture of what is situational irony, you can watch a video. Della and Jim have little money, but they want to buy each other a Christmas gift. Each one, though, has a prized possession. Della has beautiful long hair, and Jim has a magnificent gold watch. Della decides to give Jim a gold chain for his watch. But where will she find the money for such an expensive gift? When Della returns home with Jim's present, he is in shock because he has a present for Della, too. How did Jim find the money for such an expensive gift? This is situational irony. Situational irony occurs when what happens in the story is contrary to what was expected. What is the expected outcome of this situation? What would happen if this were an example of situational irony? Dear students, once again, I'd like to remind you to log into your Pearson account to do the assigned task on time and submit all the assessments through Horizon Communicate or through the desired media which has been mentioned to you in the assessments. And you should also give your suggestions and positive feedback to your friend's work. And do not hesitate to contact your teacher if you need any support or you need any clarifications or you have any doubts, please do contact your teacher through Horizon Communicate. So thank you students. It was wonderful being with you today. Have a nice day.